Welcome to today's episode of More Cool Shit, Less Bullshit. What I'm talking about, a pair of my favorite shorts are perfect for the summer for any possible activity you can throw at them. From rock climbing, to swimming, to surfing, to dancing, to setting stuff on fire, to running from the police. Anyway, these are a pair of my favorite pair of shorts that you can do literally anything with. And I'll show you why they're so amazing after I actually have to take them off first. So, one second. Okay, with me down to my skimpies. These are indeed a pair of my favorite shorts. These are made by Topo Design. These are called the Topo Design River Shorts. These are the original material. I think they make two different types now. One's lightweight and one is, I guess, the original. This is the original pair, which I got back in, wow, two years, two years ago. ago. Extremely durable material, moisture wicking, they dry really quick, they're stretchy, there's a little bit of a stretch to them. They have an elastic band that's also stretchy as well, but it's also got a belt in it, so that way you can kind of tighten it up and cinch it down. So there's a couple of really neat ways to actually wear this belt on the shorts. You can wear it like this, what I have right now, and it has a really good clasp on it made of hard plastic that just easily snaps into place like that. You saw how quick I just did that. and. It's that easy to do it and undo it. Just slowly pull it tight like that. And you can leave the excess belt loop, belt just hanging like that. Or you could also just tuck it into this belt loop right here and have it like that. Or you can just unclasp it all together, have it hanging like that. Or what I usually do, because I'm pretty lazy, is I just have it like kind of just dangling like this. And I have my t-shirt just cover most of the excess slack that way because the elastic in here does a pretty good job of keeping this up to my waist. The only time I really snap this together is if I'm doing something kind of intense as far as a workout or if I just want to hold my stuff up or if I have a bunch of stuff in my pockets like, you know, a heavy cell phone or a wallet, keys and stuff like that. If I'm carrying a lot of things or if I'm coming out of the ocean or water, because the pockets like to kind of weigh you down a little bit, but you can see I'm putting a lot of force on my shorts here and there's nothing really happening to them because this does a really good job of keeping your shorts cinched in place. What I really like about these shorts is that they fit really, really well because they sort of taper in at the leg right here, which is great because whenever you're, you're squatting or something like that, you're not just showing some, uh, some of your private parts just dangling around. And on top of that, it just, it just fits your body really well and doesn't look super baggy or like unkept about anything. You can kind of see they've done a good job of having this sort of split right here so that way you have more flexibility in the leg without excess material. So that's really nicely done. In the back, you have a pocket on the right side only. It's a zipper pocket. You can put your wallet or anything like that you want in there. It's got mesh at the very bottom of it so you have drain holes in it because um, these are the river shorts, so you should be wearing them for any possible activity you want. Material's really good. You have pretty deep pockets. You can fit, easily fit your iPhone in here. No problem. And it's, the nice part is it's not like so low where it's just smacking around your leg and stuff like that all the time. It's pretty well kept in place when you're walking around or doing any sort of activities such as that. So there's a few different detail shots kind of show with these shorts. Like I said, there's a really cool belt here that's amazing. Topa Design little map logo right there is very subtle and very simple and I love how they place it and I love the fact that there's not much else beyond that. It's very loud on their shorts. On the front, like I said, you have these sort of stitch pockets like this. So the pockets are actually attached to the leg because of that. It's more of a traditional old school way of making the pockets. On the back, you have just one simple red pocket back here, which is a YKK zip that actually is spring loaded. So that way, you can very easily flick it to one side. These have a little hook right here, a little sort of strap, uh, nylon strap right here, so you can actually hang your shorts if you wanted to this way. So taking the shorts and turning them inside out, you can kind of see how they're constructed. They're, they're very well durably made. The stitching is pretty much spot on with these. I have no loose seams or anything like that after two years of wearing them for basically everything. And you see a little bit of mesh right here at the corners of the pockets. This is where 
all the water and everything like that can just flow through them. And it's a very nice touch and it's very smooth against your skin so nothing really rubs you in any way. So that's a great, great feature to have. And this is the back pocket back here. And you can kind of see like this is a tradition, this is a newer way of making a pocket where it's more like a flap that kind of flies out like that. And the whole back pocket is lined with the mesh in the back. Another thing I love about these shorts is they're very, very packable. So basically what I always do whenever I travel, if I'm not wearing these shorts, if I'm not wearing them to the destination, if I pack them, I just fold them in half like that, and then I just roll them. And you make a very small pair of shorts that way. And it's very, very, like I said, very easy to pack. And you can even fold it in half again if you wanted to. And you can stuff this into anything you wanted to and not worry about it because this material is pretty durable. No issues with that. It does wrinkle a little bit, but at the same time, after a few minutes of wearing these, they kind of de-wrinkle themselves. The Perfect Shorts do come with a bit of a flaw, and that's in the pocket design. So these pockets are kind of like the traditional way of making a pocket. Back in the day, you basically just stitch another piece of fabric together with the legs, that way it's just one sort of thing that way, right? It's good because this makes a very durable sort of pocket, but the problem is now is that on a modern pocket, like a pair of jeans or something like that you have now, those are kind of like pocket, I guess, I don't know what you call those, I guess pocket lined or like they're unattached pockets, they're not attached to legs essentially. So you can actually move them around and like they move with your body. So if you have something in your pockets, they'll stay in your pockets that way. Whereas these tr old school way of doing it, which these shorts feature, that being a sort of confined certain shape with your leg, if you move a certain way sometimes, based on how you sit, maybe an airplane or usually my car, sometimes things will follow your pockets. It's pretty rare, but it does happen every now and then. It's kind of annoying when it does happen, especially in a car, because when you lose your phone on the side of your car, it's basically like, that's gone. You're never gonna find that again. Now, the other part of that pocket being stitched the way it is, that's kind of annoying as well, is like when you take these to the beach, sometimes you'll catch sand in there because the mesh is so fine in the, the bottom of the pockets, you'll catch sand in there and it's hard to get it out because you can't just pull your pockets out to get the sand out. You're kind of stuck in a position where you have to kind of just spray, well, if you go to the beach shower or something like that and spray through there or just scoop your hands and get your fingernails and kind of scoop the sand out of your pockets. Or if you're lucky enough, I guess you just take your shorts off, flip them outside and just shake them out. And it'll basically get all that sand out of there. It's actually very easy to clean these shorts. I do wish I had two back pockets because sometimes I like to put something in my left pocket, let's say like a lens cap if I'm taking photography or something like that, or maybe tickets or something like that if you're going to the airport. Is there any other reason why you potentially would want to have that other pocket? It's a shame they skimped and didn't do it, but I see most styles of shorts like this don't have that extra pocket. It's usually just the right pocket and then two front pockets, which is kind of like the style of your traditional swimming trunks or Patagonia baggies. If you live an active lifestyle or just kind of slobbing around on the couch for a lazy weekend like I usually do, which is basically every day because, you know, I work from home, I live at home, I exercise at home, I eat at home. So if you do any of those things, these are kind of the perfect shorts for you because they do everything extremely well. They're very comfortable. I love them. I'm turning them inside out now so that we can see the rest of them again. And they really, really excel at that. Now, I'm actually curious what you guys think. Leave your comments below because I want to know, do you have a pair of your favorite shorts somewhere? And what, what are some great memories you've had with them? Like, what's some been amazing places you've gone in a pair of shorts you've had that just do everything? Because like, honestly, these are, these are, like I said, these are like my best friends now at this point because I've had so many memories with them. And every time I look at, look at them, I think about all the different places I've gone to. So do any of you have any pairs of shorts or anything like that I'd love to know. Leave me a comment below, because that would be an awesome thing to have a discussion about. If you like this video, make sure you hit like, subscribe, and smash that notification button, because I'm gonna keep making content like this whether you like it or not. I don't know why that's so threatening at this point. It's all about more cool shit, less bullshit to weigh you down. So until next time. Oh, the helicopters are really going around in there, aren't they? Should I be concerned? Are they coming after me because of uh, the fire? <laughs>